Now he's turning. Yeah, I think he's yeah. eating the, the very back. last one. Yeah. The last one, shoot it. Hi there, I'm Joe Bartlett and thanks for watching Relive the Dream. In this video, you're going to join my wife Bree and I as we wrap up our trip to South Africa with sensational hunting safaris, hunting for blessed buck, diker, and spring buck. Now when we booked this trip, blessed buck was the animal I was most looking forward to hunting. The colors of their cape, the ruggedness and simplicity of their horns were all things that made me want to pursue these antelope. But it was going to take a few busted stalks before I could put my hands on one. Make, makes a ball like that with the eggs inside there. So they gather up the dung and yeah. then they cover it in mud? Yes. And then lay their eggs inside? Yeah. Huh. The whole thing was close. I, I don't know where's the other piece. Huh. That's cool. That's heavy yeah, to that's roll it. around. Yeah. Now the thing about hunting in parts of Africa is you spend a lot of time spotting game from the hunting truck and attempting a stalk from there, but inevitably you end up in a spot where the best thing to do is take a shot from the truck, which is legal in South Africa. And that's what happened when we finally got a shot on a nice blessed buck ram. <laughs> There's one behind him. There's one behind him. Don't shoot it now. Now he's turning. Yeah, he's yeah. In the, the very back. last one. Yeah. The last one, shoot it. Wow. One, shoot it. Wow. Wow. Good job, honey. He's done. <laughs> Good job. Well done, buddy. Uh, oh. Peter, reverse my recipe. Yeah. He's a good one. He's a good one. <laughs> Dang. Oh, look at that. This is the one I was most excited okay. about. Okay, you see what I told you? Mm -hmm. the, the female and the males are here thick and the space here is narrow. Okay. With the females is white here yeah, and uh, the, this is black. But sometimes the males, oh, you get black horns also on the males. Gotcha. And here's the scent glands that, that you uh, can smell it a little bit and make, uh, make markings on the plants and stuff. Oh. And yeah, I will look now for one in the drum for all the bees. There's a worm in the nose worm. Oh, gotcha. That's why the whole time they're shaking their head uh, huh. and sneezing because that uh, worm irritates them. Huh. <laughs> wow. Thank you very much. Appreciate Welcome, it. my friend. Thank you. Congratulations. Big mouth. Awesome. The blessed buck was the final animal Bree wanted to take on this trip, and now it was her turn to squeeze the trigger on a ram. Ma'am, do you see mm -hmm. the tree with the yellow leaves? Mm -hmm. Just go down with the tree, mm -hmm. just left to the tree, mm -hmm. you'll see him. 
look through your telescope all you can see maybe sit down and see all you can shoot data like that is he the one walking away no 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 he's ne next to the tree oh yes he's still behind the tree you see a man no i do not just lift from the tree he, he's standing there at the base of the tree and he's just off there he oh is. there now i see him okay there you, you can you can the gun shoot now there he went back mm. Uh, he's behind the tree. There he comes out. Okay. Yep. Which one is he? Oh, I guess so. It doesn't matter. Damn it. That is hunting. No, oh, I know that's hunting. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see what we do. <laughs> Thank you. Well done, thank you, Peter. <laughs> Along with the blue wildebeest, blessbuck are a deceivingly pretty animal. I don't know of many other species that look so much better in person than they do in any pictures or film, and that makes putting your hands on one a truly special moment, especially on a cold and rainy day like this afternoon was. Now the next animal was quite challenging to film. When I got there, Egbert asked me if I wanted to hunt at night for the gray diker, also known as the common diker, one of the renowned tiny 10 antelope species that South Africa is known for. To determine male or female at night was hard enough, let alone capturing it all on film. That's it. Beautiful little man. Yeah. Beautiful. Holy cow. He is cool. Look at his neck all swollen up. In the rat. Yeah. And then you see the sin gland underneath his eyes. Man, he's pretty. I didn't realize how pretty they are. They're beautiful animals. Holy cow. Did you see me, me stop him? With that noise you made? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, what I like about him, usually they don't flare out like that. This one Yeah, flared, flared out, out tips like this, yeah. Yeah, it is. <laughs> wow. A little bit that I've heard about it, that both body and the animal. Yeah, ones. it's big. Um. I think we're gonna struggle to get a nice picture here. I think here. so too. Yeah. Let's take him to the road. Okay. After being unsure of hunting the diker to begin with, I was immensely happy that I had. And the one animal that was left to harvest for the trip was South Africa's national animal, the springbuck. This animal became my favorite of the trip, as it was so similar to hunting pronghorn in Montana and Wyoming. We hunted wide open spaces with cows and two lane highways nearby, and we glassed several different rams in a short time until we found one to put a stock on. So 
pull the front one. Okay, he's gonna hit it forward for me. Hit him again or no? Just give him a second. Yeah, it's okay for me. Good shot. Jump up, let's go. Mm. Let's get there before his head gets down. Okay. Congratulations, sir. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. A little fun. Well done, buddy. Thank you. Well, I think it was caught at half and hard enough. Yeah. At least I got to a tree. Yeah. While the air was still up. That is cool. You see, you see what I meant? It's 30 seconds to the minute it's gone. Mm -hmm. Huh. That's crazy. There you can see it. Mm -hmm. Sm now you need to smell it there. Smell it there for you smell it. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's oh. sweet. It smells exactly like cotton candy. That's or our cotton candy. Yeah. But did you see it picks up? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then it goes down. Heck, and yeah. you can feel it's even... It's, it's, yeah. It's, yeah, it's coarser. It's, smell it there. Now you'll smell it really. Yeah. And did you see the tails? No air on the bottom. Yeah. Huh. That is, that is a cool animal. I actually didn't know it was South Africa's national animal. That's our national animal. That's pretty cool. That's awesome. I'll bring the truck for us. We don't want to infect this guy. I'm not sure I've ever hunted in a place that I didn't want to return to. But what is unique about Africa is that you can have a completely different hunt on the next trip, chasing new species, with each being just as beautiful as the last. And that being said, I already can't wait to make our next video in South Africa with Egbert and Peta and their families.